Sarawak will remain under a state of emergency until February 2, 2022. This was revealed in a federal gazette which was released last night, in which the government said they are extending the emergency on grounds to prevent any further increase in the spread of the epidemic of COVID-19 if the state election is held. The current emergency, covering Peninsula and East Malaysia, will end tomorrow. The state election was supposed to be held by June 6 but suspended due to the emergency. Chief Minister Abang Jahari Openg previously said the state election can wait until the COVID-19 situation improved. On June 6, Sarawak State Assembly Speaker Muhammad Asfia Awang Nasser issued a statement stating that the State Legislative Assembly will not be dissolved but shall continue its term until August 1, 2021, which is the end of the current nationwide emergency. Law Minister Takiuddin Hassan announced in the Diwan Rakyat on July 26 that the Perakatan National led government would not seek an extension on the current emergency proclamation beyond August 1. Three by-elections, two parliamentary seats and one state seat, have also been postponed since late last year, after the government declared an emergency in the respective areas. On November 18, Batu Sapi in Sabah was placed under a state emergency to avoid a by-election from taking place following the death of its MP Liu Vu E. Kaong from Warrison, who was the law minister under the former Pakatan Harapan administration. On December 16, a proclamation of emergency was announced for the Garik Parliamentary Constituency in Parak and the Bugaya State Constituency in Sabah, following the deaths of the elected representatives. <laughs>